The spooky season is upon us and today I want to be directing to you a review of two works from an author that I think that you guys should meet. He's a horror author, he's a spooky indie horror author and as the saying goes, we should first of all support our indie authors. Second of all, when they are as great as this one is, we have to read his works and we have to support. Hello beautiful bookworms, my name is Katerina and welcome to my channel and even though I'm not particularly spooky today, I decided that for October I was going to try and do some spooky reviews, which I haven't done because professional life. <laughs> so I decided to just bring a review of two short novels coming together since they're about the same topic and they're about the same and they're from the same author actually. Uh, and so recommending this author to you already and telling you because we're still in the half point of spooky season you can still go and read his works before the spooky season is over which i highly highly recommend the author that i'm talking about is spencer hamilton if you guys don't know him i'm going to leave link down below his instagram and also try to leave linked his amazon page so you can go and check out his works and his books and there are some works by him that I haven't read. I've only read two of his works, but I highly, highly recommend. First of all, I think that his writing is incredible, really, really amazing and really <laughs> spooky vibed. So perfect for October and for the spooky season. And second of all, I love his characters. I love his plots. And I love that there is a lot of horror situations and moments that we kind of pay to see because it's great, it's amazing. And I think that both of the novels that I've read of him should be adapted to a TV series or a movie. I would pay to see that. So as you can probably guess, it's going to be a raving review. I will try, I will try, no, I will not give spoilers because I really want you guys to read it. However, I will have to talk a little bit about the thematics of the books and also uh, the world building that is following this universe that Spencer Hamilton created. So the two books or novellas that I'm going to be talking about today is Welcome to Smiley Land and Sister Fun Time. Both of these novels are a part of the same world. Other books by Spencer Hamilton, I believe, are not. However, there are short stories in other books that are not just his, but are like anthologies that also belong to this universe that I haven't read. And so I can't recommend them to you. I don't even know their names. However, I would just leave here the appeal that I would really love that Spencer did like a big, big book with all this Smiley Land universe thing so that we can get it. Um, I also want to tell you that Welcome to Smiley Land, as of now, I do believe, and for a long time, I do believe, is still free if you subscribe to his newsletter. So you get a digital copy of Welcome to Smiley Land if you do subscribe, which I highly recommend since there are no physical copies at the moment of this, which is very sad. I do believe there's like six or seven copies in the wild around the world, but they were limited and they are already gone completely, which is really, really sad because I really loved Welcome to Smiley Land and I would really enjoy to have the physical one so that I could um, tap it. But alas, I can't. I read it digitally and so should you because the experience is as great as if it is physical in my opinion because Spencer Hamilton's writing is as amazing as I am saying to you. Sister Fun Time, I do believe that you can pick it up in physical. I do have it on digital since I was experiencing and I really want to read more about the Smiley Land universe. And since I have the other one in digital, I thought, okay, I'm gonna get this one in digital and then we will see for the physical copy. However, if you can, I do recommend that you upgrade your copy to a physical one because it's a wild ride to read a Spencer Hamilton book. Now, let's start with Welcome to Smile Land first, since it was the first one that I've read, and then we'll go with Sister Fun Time. So, Welcome to Smiley Land is a slasher story. I feel like this is important to say because most of you that know horror and even those of you that don't know horror know that slasher movies or books have a specific trope, which is normally a lot of people die. So there are trigger warnings for these deaths and there is a lot of gore in Spencer Hamilton's writing, which personally I love because I feel like it's well delivered and well done. However, if you condone and can't support like violence in any way in your 
physical or mental state, then probably you should check trigger warnings for his works and probably you shouldn't pick them up if you're not comfortable with blood and a lot of types of violence. That is only the only way that I will tell you to not read this because if you don't have any of these problems, then you absolutely have to. So Welcome to Smiley Land is a story of a group of teenagers which already loving slashers uh, and they decide that they're going to spend the night in this abandoned amusement park that has a lot of creepy stories connected with because one of them wants to like play a prank on the others and scare them and show them that he knows a lot about this place. Also, what I wanted to tell you is that the main cast of characters here, first of all, our main character is a non-binary character, which I found amazing. I had never read anything from the perspective of a non-binary character, and I do believe that in horror, not just in indie horror, but in horror in general, we need a lot of representation that is still missing, and so for that, I really, I'm really, really happy that Spencer took that direction, because I absolutely loved it, and the rest of our characters have a lot of diversity and are also on the LGBT LGBTQIA plus spectrum. So if you want to see yourself represented or if you like to read books with diversity and representation, this one is definitely for you. So the story progresses with obviously our teenagers being killed and hunted by something. And the supposed rule in Smiley Land is that you can never ever stop smiling, which is absolutely creepy. The entirety of the amusement park, when seen from above, kind of looks like a smiley face, which is extremely creepy. And if you know anything about horror is that presenting you horror with a creepy smile is the best thing that you can do to actually shit your pants. Because normally we don't smile when we are terrified. And normally the things that terrify us don't usually smile, or if they do, it's a psychological breakdown inside of our heads, which I feel like Spencer Hamilton does incredibly. Like the physical tension and the mental tension is there. We are hoping for the survival of our characters, we are seeing what is going on, we are hoping that they can get away, live and disappear from Smiley Land forever because we don't want them there trapped with whatever is there with them murdering them. Also, there are a bunch of lore and things connected that uh, we hear about in Welcome to Smiley Land and that uh, I am very excited that Spencer Hamilton explores, maybe, in new tales that are starting to create, and you can see it develop in your eyes, an actual world building connected to this lore of Smiley Land and a place where smiles are creepy and they're strange things happening. So this amusement park has to be connected with other stories and those other stories have to be connected with this amusement park and everything else. So the first one, it's basically this, but the writing style, it's incredible. It's just so anxious. It just, it makes you feel like you're really in there living this with your characters. You feel loss, you feel pain, you feel anger, you feel like you want to get away and you feel this need to survive, which you don't feel if the writing isn't good. So if you like spookiness, if you like slashers, welcome to Smiland, it's definitely for you. Now, Sister Fun Time on the other way around is not a slasher. It's more of a psychological kind of religious sort of horror, which I haven't read a lot of, I've watched some movies of, but normally when I watch religious horror, it always has to do with possessions. In this particular case, it's not a possession story, um, but also it's not a particular good light to be viewing a religion, which if you have a problem with that, then you should probably not read this, trigger warnings for that. However, I really enjoy how we can go from a story that is an actual slasher to another story in the same universe that is a psychological horror and that messes up with some themes that people might not be comfortable with. Because I think that this is important. First of all, Spencer exploring different types of horror in the same universe is great for all the types of horror fans. If you don't like one type, you can read the other. Oh, and you don't have to read them in order, by the way. It's cool if you do. I think it was cool to have read Welcome to Smiley Land before because I got some references. However, if you read Sister Fun Time first uh, and then Welcome to Smiley Land, you will also uh, get some of the 
things that he did to connect both of the worlds. And so in this case, it also starts with uh, a bunch of teenagers in the amusement park and they are telling horror stories and they are going there to just get the spooks and be scared. However, one of them starts telling a story of that place as it was before and apparently we get dragged into the story of what Welcome, well, the Smiley Land amusement park was before and that was an orphanage. And our main character in this story is uh, a sister of the orphanage that is there to work with children and to help them being adopted and happy and live their lives in the orphanage as great as possible. She loves to smile, she loves to make children smile and she also has the nickname of Sister Funtime as it's the name of our uh, novel. So this story, I already told you, it's a little psychological, it's a lot of gore again, so again, if you have a problem with that, I think it's going to be a recurring theme in Spencer's books, I'm not sure, but just keep safe for the trigger warnings. Um, but it does have a lot of like um, self-conscious and thinking about what exactly is good and what exactly is not. I mean, what is worth and what is not to do for others and for ourselves, and where our belief starts and where uh, our trust in ourselves end, which is very important because there's a dichotomy here that talks about religion and its power over people, but also how people can deliver themselves onto religion as something to grab onto while they should be keeping a little bit of themselves for them and to them in order to still be themselves and be able to take decisions for the, from themselves and for themselves, okay? Um, I find this thematic incredibly interesting. I really like the way that it was described in the novel. I have given both of these novels five stars, by the way, in Goodreads, so you can already tell that I mean business when I say that I really wanted to read Spencer Hamilton's books. And as I was saying, this one is a little bit more slow, but also you can feel from the beginning uh, that there's an uneasiness going on there. And with page after page after page, that uneasiness grows and grows. Your anxious feelings grew, which is one of the things that he does so, so well. The amount of caring for the characters that you have also amounts to thinking that there's something wrong with some of them and that a lot of things can happen in between them. And you don't really know who to trust in any of these books, or at least the ones that I've read. You don't know how things are going to progress, even though they look like they're going to have a specific ending. However, you don't know how we're going to get there and if we're actually going to get there. And there's always plot twists that make you just wonder where the fuck was this clue that I didn't see or how is this shit happening and then you have to go back and see. And it's just such an amazing, enjoyable and great, great work. I am really enjoying reading his works on Smiley Land in the Smiley Land universe and hopefully I can read more of those eventually. So I would honestly tell you, if you have the ability to get into these books and to read these books, yes, they are gory, yes, they have topics that might be uncomfortable, however, they are so well written. I mean, for horror to be written like this, it, it's just, it's really great. And an author that can do two types at least of horror and just be amazing at both, I think you should at least give it a shot. So these are my thoughts on it. So that's going to be all for this review. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I do hope that you pick up his books, particularly Welcome to Smiley Land and also Sister Fun Time. However, I'm going to try and read more of his works so that I can tell you if I do recommend it, if I don't, but actually I think that I'm going to. So we will see, but I can't see how I'll be disappointed with Spencer Hamilton's writing. I really can't. So if you want to read something spooky for the season, if you want to be like me and be the spooks up the entirety of the season or the rest of the season that we have left, then go pick up Welcome to Smiley Land, Sister Fun Time, and just have fun. And remember to never, ever, ever stop smiling. So that's going to be all for today. If you like it, leave a like or subscribe and tell me down below if you know this person's 
uh, work, the author's work, if you want to get to know him. And if you're going to get any of these, or if you already gotten some of these, or if you've read more of Spencer Hamilton's works and want to recommend some to me, that will also be incredibly cool. So that's going to be all for today and happy readings to you all. Bye!